So hello guys, today we're going to this VKL, and it is, this is pretty bad news for people who have been wired a Zeobrade X switch port, which I don't see as pleasantly hard. This is the, you know, possibly speaking, I would love to play the game on Switch, but it would be very difficult to make it, even though it's much more bigger games on the Switch than Xenoblade Chronicles X is a Wii U game. They can't, you told me it's very hard to port this game to the Switch. Takashi told US Gamer when asked it would be such a problem. He said we were asking to apply money, it's a massive game. Recreating it would be very difficult. Well, if we are talking about money, well, again, Zeoboy Chronicles X was not a success at all. It didn't really move con consoles. I've had the game. I played, like, a few hours of the game. It was, like, not good, and I stopped playing it. I think that's what most people really said about this game. And, yeah, Switch is not really a most powerful console in the world. It's not really powerful in handheld mode. Well, it's very powerful on the TV form where games can run at 1080p and stuff. There we go. And yeah, Zero Break Chronicles 2 and Zero Break Chronicles the Family Design Switch. I don't want it on new until new hardware is released. Again, Zero Break Chronicles 1 and 2 are on the console. So yeah, if you really want your Zero Break fix, let's play those two games. Really not pulling it here. Is there any time about we making it not pulling here? But then we go down here. The, the this is the weak roadmap for the if it, this is a gold mine the weak roadmap for Nintendo Switch. So semi oh semi Tensei ten five is in the wrong year. I realized that they're gonna re, they're releasing that in twenty twenty one and right you know here. So yeah, that's the only thing they got wrong here. Zero Blade, Mario Kart nine Zelda collection zero eight semi Gamma Tensei is in the wrong year. And Switch Pro Breath of the Wild two Super Mario RC two. Similar Gamma Tensei 5, which for some reason is not in 2021. Bayonetta 3, Astral Chain 2, and Pokemon. And Vesper Ve Prime 4, Zero Play Chronicles X2. So that's the likely roadmap. I don't believe that's real. They're missing Donkey Kong. They're missing Wario, Yo, Yoshi, Smash. You know, all those bigger franchises that would sell on the Switch Pro. You know, it's just why would you not put Smash Bros. And again, I bet the Switch Pro is probably an upgraded Switch anyways. I don't think, you know, kind can of be like, you know... The DSI and all that stuff. And yep, there we go. You know, here. You know, Series S when docked. You know. Here. And yeah, those people arguing over here. It's a Switch and, you know, Wii U are stronger. You know, here. But yeah, the Wii U and Switch were very functionally similar consoles. So yeah. But the, but the Wii U, you couldn't really take. The hand, you can't really play in handheld mode, which is what the Switch really did better than the Wii U. You know, you couldn't play Mario on your toilet or Pikmin on your toilet. You had to play the game. You had to play. You had to play the gamepad on your, you know, with your when on your when you're in the same room with your console. So yep, there you go. That's basically it about this week and video. Goodbye.